uh, the Negro people have conducted themselves nonviolently. Uh, the 200,000 people that were there today, there were many predictions, and one could take book uh, on whether there would be a display of violence by all the extreme factions and whatnot. But the truth of the matter is that the people who came to that gathering today were people in great anguish, who have come from the Birminghams and come from the Jackson, Mississippis, and they came there with anguish and with hurt and with dignity and with integrity, and it was one of the most orderly okay. displays I've ever seen of 200,000 people with obedience. I have something like it. And uh, uh, if the Bull Connors continue to release dogs on the people as an answer to their legitimate cries, if they continue to use cattle rods to prod them, if they continue to use hoses to whip them through the streets, the human heart and the human body can only contain so much. There must come a point, if they are pushed to it, for retaliation. So once again, I put the emphasis on who it is that will precipitate it. Because I do believe that the Negro community, most, I, I think that I can speak for, for, for most of the 20 million Negroes are committed to this thing being done nonviolently. They have already displayed that. They have displayed it very eloquently since the Montgomery oh, yes. bus strike.